Entonces ya, ya estamos listos, papá. Hi friends, welcome back to Telenovelas con Dulce. In this video, we're gonna be recapping episode 4 of the Ruby remake and y'all, this is where things really pick up. Let's get started. We opened the episode where we left off with Ruby rejecting Alejandro. As we saw in the last episode, Ruby had become disillusioned with him after realizing he was not wealthy. So, Ruby decides to enact her plan to seduce Hector and seduce him for herself. But first, she enlists the help of a journalist. She befriends a journalist and starts asking her questions about Hector, his likes and dislikes and everything and anything that can help her with her seduction. Armed with this information, Ruby invites Hector to go dancing, where she lays her full seduction in motion. Meanwhile, Maribel meets Loreto when she goes to his gym and asks him to become her personal trainer as she wants to look as best as possible for her upcoming wedding to Hector. Loreto is ecstatic to help and is curious about Maribel since he's heard so much about her from Ruby. After training Maribel, Loreto calls Ruby, who's at the club with Hector, and Loreto informs her of Maribel and how Maribel is worried because Ruby hasn't answered any of her calls and the wedding is fast approaching. Ruby doesn't pay attention and goes back to the club. She is successful in her flirting with Hector and eventually she and Hector sleep together. Together they begin an affair and are spending more and more time together in the days leading up to the wedding while poor Maribel is busy with wedding preparations and is worried about Ruby since she hasn't been around. The day before the wedding, while Ruby is with Hector, she tells him she loves him and wants him to run away with her. Hector is hesitant because he doesn't want to leave Maribel since he made a promise to marry her. The day of the wedding arrives, Ruby packs a small bag and says goodbye to Fernandita and her mother, telling her mother that no matter what happens, she has to remember that she loves her above everything. Ruby's mother grows worried but Ruby leaves and makes her way to the airport to take her seat. Meanwhile, Maribel arrives to the church where Hector is nowhere to be seen. She begins growing worried while Alejandro and her father attempt to locate Hector. Back at the airport, Ruby waits and waits until Hector appears and takes a seat next to her. He has left Maribel on their wedding date. Hector and Ruby kiss while back at the church, Maribel, who has grown increasingly nervous, gets out of the car and walks down the aisle yelling Hector's name over and over again. She then reaches the altar where she is held back by her parents as she realizes that the worst has happened and Hector has left her. And that is how the episode ends. I have to say, I once again really enjoyed this episode, though I do think the wedding and the betrayal were a bit rushed. I like the original because it made the wedding scene even more dramatic and built the suspense. In the original, we also see that Maribel goes after Hector and she sees Ruby and him together at the airport, which again just cements the drama. Still, I enjoyed this episode and the performance by Kimberly Dos Ramos as Maribel was beautifully heartbreaking and my favorite part of the episode. And that is it. I'll see you all again next time for episode 5 and the aftermath of Maribel and Hector's failed wedding. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye!